Hey guys, so as a weekend project, I decided I would see how easy it is for hackers to break into cars. What I found was that it's not only super easy, it's actually terrifyingly simple. The only tool I used was this software defined radio that I programmed to capture unlock codes and then echo them back to the car when I wanted to break into them. First, I'm going to lock this car. And then I am going to unlock it. <laughs> All right, so basically I've got two scripts sort of running that are making this possible. The first one just listens and records anything that happens over that frequency. And the second one just outputs it. So when I start listening and you press a button, I record it. And then later when I need to, I can output that same thing. So it's just an echo. So if you walk to your car and you lock it or you unlock it, I save that information. And then at a more convenient time, I use my radio to send that to your car and then bam, we're in. To put this into perspective, nothing stops hackers from going to crowded parking lots, listening for lock and unlock commands and then raiding your car while you're out grocery shopping. Okay, so now it's time to test it out. I'm going to go ahead and lock the car, there it is, and now I'm going to run the unlock script and see what happens. So it's going to fire up and here it goes, the car is now unlocked. There is a safeguard, which means that after you clone the unlock signal, if you try and use it again, the car won't accept it. But I did find something interesting. If I brute force the car and send a bunch of requests, then for some reason it just opens anyway. For instance, here we go again. I will lock it, and then that shouldn't be happening, but it is. On the one hand, you don't even need a key to start your car. On the other hand, you just need a simple radio to steal your car. Given how simple this attack is, it's only a matter of time before this is the new way to steal a car. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought.